We've been running out of almost everything ever since the Reverend Thomas Malthus told us years ago that we were in danger of running out of food and that we were about to run out. Lord Jevons, in the early part of the Industrial Revolution, we were running out of coal. When oil was first discovered in America, the U.S. Geological Service, the chief scientist, said we should not use oil because, yes, it was interesting, tremendous resource, but in less than two decades there would be no oil in the United States, and he said that back in the 1880s. We're always running out of things in, as used in the current way and supplied in the current technological ways. We're like riding a bicycle. If we stop riding the bicycle, we're always going to fall off. But what we do, what civilization is about, what a sustainable economy is about, is ensuring that as things get scarce, we look around for new sources, we find ways of using the old sources more efficiently, and we find new ways of doing the old things. We find technological alternatives, uh, fiber optics substituting for copper wire. An incredibly expensive copper becomes made out of literally sand now in cases. That process of ensuring that as a scarcity uh, begins to occur, we feed back and encourage man's energies, man's genius, to find ways of addressing that human need has made us sustainable. All resources that are embodied, that have been integrated, embedded in this feedback system, the market, the free market system, have become more plentiful over time. Commodities, steel, iron, oil, historically have either stayed stable or have actually become less expensive over time. This was a classic example of Julian Simon who made a bet with Paul Ehrlich. Ehrlich was convinced we were running out of everything. Julian Simon said, no, man solves more problems than he creates, and they bet. They picked a market basket of goods that Paul Ehrlich was able to pick. Paul picked five metals, nickel, chromium, copper, um, tin, and tungsten, an exotic set of baskets. He said that they measured the price at one point, Ten years later, they measured the price. Not only had the basket become cheaper, but every one of those metals had become cheaper over the ten-year period in real terms. Ehrlich paid the bet and just never talked about it again. But that running out is always, of course, in a way we always are running out, but as long as our minds are employed, we refill our depleted physical resource with the infinite resource of man's creative energies.